Welcome back, everyone. Today we'll be covering the work, space, and files in our programming. Let's go back to the R Studio. Okay, we we'll look at the second selection: work, space, and files. Work, space, and files. In this lesson, you will learn how to examine your local workspace in R and begin to explore the relationship between a workspace and a file system of your machine. So these are the uh, basics of uh, R and the, the environment that R use. Okay, so R can be used in both Linux, Windows, and uh, Mac. Mac, so it supports many operating systems. So different operating system using different file system. So this is uh, lecturing or guide us through how R treat uh, different uh, environments. Okay, determine which directory your R session. This R session is currently used using get wd. WB means working directory, get W. Okay, remember the autocomplete, press tab, up, down, tab. Then R is pretty smart, it autocomplete the bracket. So at this moment, you can just press enter. It tells you where the uh, the working library is. It's H drive, telescope user documents. This is a Windows system I'm using. So you can also Find it from here, files, more, go to working directory. So this is the working directory. This is the working directory. It should be the H drive, telescope user, documents. Okay, let's see what's inside. LS. Oh, I should maximize it. Maximize it so you see it better. So LS. LS is to see the objects in my local workspace. The object in my local workspace. Workspace is this one. Is this one? Is this one in the environment? What is other objects in my current memory <laughs> being used by R? As I nine to X. Take a look at the object that are in your workspace using LS. Uh, you see one more that's x equal to 9 now. x equal to 9 list all the files use list files or dir this is where you list the files at your working directory this is the file system what are the files there you see bandicam desktop ini now bandicam desktop ini which is hidden file MySQL scripts, MySQL scripts. Okay, this file with a command. This file. Okay, so list files and a directory or folder. So this is the help page for this directory and some examples here. See the examples here. Use the argument function to determine arguments to list files. So list files is a function, but what are the arguments can we can this function take? The arguments is actually here. There are so many arguments, not these arguments. It's mentioning path, pattern, all files. These are all the arguments. So how do we do the argument? ARG, tap, 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 arguments, then list dot files. We tap again, and enter. That's correct. It says function pass, blah, 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 blah. So basically, this is what you see here. This is what you see here. OK. Assign the value of the current working variable to a variable called old DR. OK. We create a variable called dr. Let's look at the environment. After we're running the command, okay, how do we get the current working directory? Get wd bracket 
let's see what's the value for old directory let's see there's old directory which is a string a string value the string is a path of the current directory okay we can create a directory in the current working directory where is your current working directory this is your current working directory this is the current working directory test the ps we're creating this directory and uh, okay we see that there is a test directory being created a test directory being created okay test directory take only pictures leave only footprints set your working directory test with the set wd command okay how do we set if you don't know it we try skip what do they do is set set wd test dr okay create a file in your working directory called my test your home directory will now be changed Let's have a look at what is go to home working directory. Go to working directory. This is your working directory. It's no longer here. Let's say go to working directory. So the working directory has been changed to under the test directory. Create a file in your working directory called my test R using the file create function. File create. Press a tab. What can be shown here? Okay. I'll create this. My test up with a double quotation. Okay, one file is being created. This is one file my test R. We are create list all the files in the current directory. How do we do that? There's one called list file, right? List file dot file. That's one way. Another way is dir. There's one file at this working directory. Let's check if this file exists or not. So these are very a few of the very basic file operations using this R language. And this is uh, called OS operating system independent. We use this file.exist to check a file name. This file name can be stored in either a Mac OS or Linux OS or Windows OS. You use the same command, but you will be able to find the file name um, at different operating systems. Okay, so this is how the R command, R program abstract uh, the functions independent to the operating systems. Okay. And use dollar operator blah 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 okay so file info returns a few metrics they are besides is the directory or not this file is directory or mode the m time the c time creation time modify time and the a time uh, exe file or not so we can use a dollar sign okay i'll show you what is dollar sign what is dollar sign change the name of by using file rename. Okay, let's say let's say dollar sign tab match. Let's follow this file rename. How do we use? How do we use this file? This function? I'm not very sure, so let's have a look at it. Help. The help. It says file rename from two. We are using this file rename from and the two. Okay, so file rename from to from to comma. We follow the same structure file name from comma to. So here is from comma to uh, test to dot. Uh, so let's, uh, let's have a look. Currently, it's my test.r. So now we're going to change it. 
mytest2.r. So this is how I'll change the file names. Make it copy. So same thing. Copy from and to. Should be from and to. Copy from and to. From and to. These are the two main arguments that we need to use. From and to. Let's see if we have the file. Now we have one more file. Right, the pass using file pass. To find the file pass. Find this file. Keep up the good work. Yes. Okay. It says use this file pass to construct a file and directory path that are independent of the operating system of your R code. Pass folder 1 and folder 2 as argument to file pass to make a platform independent pass name. So let's see what does this mean. It means file pass folder 1, comma folder 2 will become a string of pass folder 1 slash folder 2. So in Windows, this slash is uh, a backslash is provided. That's, that's the Windows system. But if it's uh, this backslash is using Windows system and uh, uh, slash is using Linux system and Mac system. Okay. Okay. Uh, create. So it says a recursive create a few directories. And let's see how to do it. Hmm. It says, yeah, create file pass, blah, 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 recursive true. So in file place, it create this test dir2, and inside it, they create a test dir3. So when you use recursive equals to true, it will create multiple folders. Create one folder, dir test, test the directory2, go inside it, then create another test directory. Okay. Go back to your original work by using setwd. Remember what is the original uh, working bar directory path, which is stored in the old directory. Right? Pass uh, setwd equals to old directory. Yeah. So let's have a look at what is the new directory. Directory is we go home more go to directory. In this lesson, you have learned how to examine your R workspace and work with the file system of your machines from within R. So, I'm currently using Windows machine. I also have an R installed in a Linux Ubuntu system. Okay. That's the end of this course. Thanks for watching. Next course will be sequence of numbers. See you soon.